the first sign that we want to look at is brittle, thin, or even spoon-shaped nails. And when the nail is really thin or brittle or it breaks really easy or it just kind of looks really thin, there's usually either an iron or a protein issue. And you know, when we bring in protein, we should break that down into amino acids. And those amino acids are the building blocks of that snail structure. We want those amino acids there to build that structure. So when they're really weak and not being built correctly, there's usually a person is not consuming enough protein, but more often it's about their inability to break that protein down. Usually they're not making enough stomach acid to really acidify that protein and break it down. So that the body can break it down into those amino acids. The next sign is white spots or ridges on the nail and this often has to do with the deficiency in zinc or calcium and especially with the white spots it can also often have to do with calcium displacement. A lot of people say these things that show signs of possible calcium deficiency and they're like oh well, let's just take buckets of calcium and a lot of times supplementing with too much calcium can cause some troubles in a lot of situations it's about calcium displacement so if someone's consuming way too many carbs or sugars it has the ability to pull calcium out of the tissues where it's supposed to be because calcium likes to follow sugar so if we're consuming too much sugar we're displacing that calcium from where it should be. It starts to follow this sugar. We burn up the sugar and then the calcium just kind of gets dropped and even deposited in places where it really shouldn't be. So the body looks for ways to get rid of that. Our next sign is dry, flaky skin. And this often has to do with fatty acids or vitamin A or zinc deficiency issues. An interesting thing with zinc, when we're talking about some of these deficiencies, it's not always about, oh, we're not eating enough of the right foods. A lot of people eat really great food, but if they can't break it down it's kind of like they're not eating that food because they're not able to break it down to get the nutrients out of that and the body needs zinc to be able to produce hydrochloric acid that stomach acid that helps us break down our food and if someone isn't producing enough stomach acid they can't break their food down well enough to get the minerals out of that food so they can get stuck in this cycle of broken digestion of not having enough minerals to produce that hydrochloric acid and not being able to break down the food well enough to get the minerals to give the body what it needs to make that hydrochloric acid but for issues like this, these fatty acids, vitamin A, these are all things that are important for skin turnover and rebuilding of that skin and hydration and repair 